drop it. Um, so as I'm listening to you, I'm thinking, okay, I've, I've got the relationship, I've got the money flow, you know, life is good in so many arenas. Now I want to learn how to turn downstream with my body. So what I've noticed, first of all, it feels like all my life I've done everything I could possibly do and it just keeps getting worse. So I've done every diet, I've taken every pill, I've read every book, I've... But, but when we, let's talk about this just for a moment because I've done every diet. Now just in, in the context of upstream, downstream, I've done every diet. Which way should we point? Up. Up. <laughs> I've... Take, taken pills? Did you take diet? Oh, I took... Which yeah. way are they? Up. <laughs> read every book. Up. Uh, worked uh, out. You know, gone. <laughs> well, but, wait, but, not but just now, worked but out. Now, but now... Oh, oh I've, I've bought every piece of workout equipment. <laughs> so... So, so now, right. you say... But here's the really good news. Yeah. In all of that, there is the realization of what I'm wanting. So you must understand, whether you can feel it or get a sense of it, of what's percolating over here for you in vibrational escrow. In other words, with all of that focus and all of that energy and mm -hmm. all of that desire mm -hmm. that... In other words, when you really, really, really want something... And someone said to us one day, Oh, Abraham, I don't want that. I've already got that. And it was laughable to us because people associate wanting with that feeling of not having. And the reason that they do is because when you want something that you're not letting yourself have and you really want it, you can really feel it, you see. Mm -hmm. So what we want you to realize is that there is a really positive side to that feeling, which means there's something really, in other words, your river is really flowing strong in this way. Otherwise, you wouldn't be feeling that, which means when you do find the way to turn and go with it, the results will come readily for you. Mm. You have to know that different people have different results from food because you see people eating much more than you eat who are slender and in the body condition that they want. So you have to know and you say, well, it's metabolism. We say blah, 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 blah. Whatever you want to call it, it is the energy balance in your body. And so it does not matter how much you do if you're vibrationally pointed upstream, your doing isn't going to get you the results. That's why your metabolism is slow. That's why your body holds on to what you do not want. You're pointed upstream in it, you see. So once you start playing the game, so you're downstream, 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 then not only will the inspiration about what to do be easier and easier, but you're going to discover that you don't have that many things you have to do differently because the things you are doing differently have got you in a different vibrational stance and that different vibrational stance is causing your response to food to be different than it has been before. Your metabolism will kick up when you're pointed downstream. We're not kidding you. Resistance mm -hmm. bogs everything down. That's why all heart disease, that's why strokes, that's why every disease, that's why every sickness that every single person has ever lived, no matter how severe or slight it might be, is always about vibration that's pointed upstream. It's always about that vibrational tug of war. Doctors only recently are beginning to understand the stress effect relative to diseases. And it is everything. Dis-ease. 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 Dis Ease. Dis ease, you see. Okay, but. <laughs> it's all right. It feels like if you really, really want something. So the energy is really, really moving fast. Yeah. And the I've wanted it. The harder I try, the worse it gets. And that's the, feeling that we're, that's the feeling that we want you to identify here. The fact that I'm trying so hard means I'm really pointed upstream. So it isn't that there are certain foods that you must eat and therefore you will get results. It is that 
you can't eat something that you believe will make you fat and be slender in other words it's about your vibrational energy balance so as you start doing those things that you believe that you need to do and you do them with ease your resistance begins to resolve and so then what happens is more ideas flow to you people send you recipes you find new products you begin to get results you begin to notice that the weight is coming off you begin to get into the flow of it you begin to feel better your energy increases you want to move more and then you get on the scale which you haven't done for 30 days and you say wow 15 pounds and I wasn't doing any of that hard stuff I was doing only the stuff that felt good and look at the results I'm getting and we say the results that you will get are because of your energy alignment but so let's talk about the components of this process what really is it what is the getting out of debt process about it's about using action to improve vibration and we think it is a good human technique because what you usually hear from us is clean up your vibration and don't and and then follow through with inspired action but this these things that are that have you by the throat these things like your body you know your body is a hard thing to control and when it gets out of balance because you take it everywhere you go so how your body looks and how your body feels is a big part of your vibration so and the same thing with money money affects you all day every day and so when you apply these actions that make you feel a little better what happens is the action then drives the improvement in the energy and the improvement in the energy then inspires more action and the action drives the improvement in the energy and the improvement in the energy and then you start feeling motivated from the inside and motivation from the inside is what we call inspiration and the big thing is and we say this relative to every subject you have to leave everybody else out of the equation because it doesn't matter how somebody else looks or how much they eat or how much results they get from what they do none of that is relative to you because what Esther remember is going out to dinner with some dear friends years ago they went to a wonderful Indian restaurant in San Francisco and Esther's beautiful friend she looked like a model from head to toe ordered two complete meals and ate them herself and then ate dessert and then everybody else's dessert that didn't finish it <laughs> and Esther said to her I hope you understand that we can no longer be friends <laughs> and Gloria said to Esther food is my friend mm. and Esther said well it hates me it just hates me and that's really the point that we're wanting to make in other words you you have to come into alignment you have to you must be your friend you've got you've got to start doing things that make you feel better and and that's where this keeping my promise to myself comes in and the promise to myself is when when you're not happy in your body with the way it feels or the way it moves or the way it looks you're launching further and further rockets so the worse you feel in your body the more you ask for and the higher your standards become and so you've got a fabulous thing going on over here that you've got to get up to speed with because you're creating your own tug of war and this problem process will cause you to ease that tension between the two we promise you it will shift your vibration and when your vibration shifts your body will become the way you want it to and here's the part we really want you to understand so being slender and fit the way you want to be over is over here and where you feel like you are is over here we want you to realize that turning like this because you did something on that is enough in fact it's not only enough it's all you can do and it's not only all you can do it's enough but it's not only only enough it's all you can do but it's not only all you can do it's enough but it's not only enough it's all you can do in other words you've got to make peace with all that you can do mm -hmm. and when you make peace with all that you can do by keeping those commitments ah oh, you just start floating along you feel better and better you're getting the results and then it becomes a non-issue and then one day not very long from now you'll sit in this chair and you'll say I've got the relationship I got my body in control and Abraham this week I won the lottery <laughs> good time for a segment of refreshment <laughs>